Hello everybody, assuming that you are already familiar with power electronics and converters in particular, I'm going to talk about a simple but important practical case related to high power converters. We will talk about current sharing in parallel diodes. We would like to supply a high current DC load by using a six phase half bridge uncontrolled rectifier. After illustration of the layout, we have the real implementation of the system with several diodes in parallel, a transformer and the cooling system, and also the indicators and the zinc electrolysis pool. We have a MATLAB simulation of the case to see how voltage and currents look like. For the sake of simplicity, six voltage sources are directly connected to six diodes and then to a single resistive load. During the nominal operation, each diode has to conduct whole 10,000 amps for only 60 degrees. We simplify the system to a voltage source, a diode and a resistive load. In this circuit, there will be a small voltage drop across the diode which is negligible in compared to the load voltage. Therefore, we can consider the load as a constant current source. By this, the diode has to conduct whatever current that is synced by the load. Now we compare the cases where only one diode is used versus the case with two diodes in parallel. Diodes are nonlinear devices and the passing current determines the voltage drop and vice versa according to voltage current characteristics. Even identical diodes are not really identical or even if they were, they are not mounted identically one might be in a cooler location than the other. The hotter diode will have a smaller forward voltage drop and will have more of the current flowing in it which hits it more and more and increase its conducting part of total current. Unless they are precisely matched, there is no guarantee that you get about the same current from all parallel diodes. In the worst case, all the current passes through only one of the diodes. In this slide, we have two voltage current characteristics of two diodes with the same rating currents. As seen, curves differ and if we connect them in parallel, there will be different current passing through either of them in the same temperature or different temperature. Now I try to describe what happens if we use two or more diodes instead of one. If the required current is 10,000 amps and we have six diodes with the greater rating currents equal to 11,000, use, there will be no problem in a steady state situation in terms of current conduction limitation. We just may have need for a cooling system or consider possible transient currents which are not considered in this lecture for now. If we don't have one such diode as mentioned, instead we have two diodes with the current rating equal to 5500 amps then this is something that we want to talk about. Now we want to see what happens if the parallel diodes contribute with different current values. One of them should take 7000 amps and the other one 3000 amps. As a result, the first one damages due to higher current than the rating current. Immediately, the second one has to take all 10,000 amps and therefore fails afterwards. Considering the mentioned thermal runaway phenomena, 
Now question is that if we should connect multiple diodes with the same part number in parallel or not? This question has two different answers in low power and high power applications. In the low power applications we can use suitable series resistors or a combination of resistors and inductors to control current values of each leg. However, for high power applications, the recommended layout is the one with the minimum number of matched diodes, or use diodes with a higher current rating instead of connecting multiple diodes in parallel.